Who wants to look at some knives? Stick around, check it out. There you go. Okay, I had, let's call it an anonymous donut. A, a pretty cool knife too. This knife here is a Civivi knife. The parent company is We, And they also got a little sister company in there called Senkai. Okay, what I have here is I have the Civivi Typhius. So somebody very generous out there decided they wanted to see Dick Ritchie review the Civivi Typhius. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it honors. Okay, so I like Civivi a lot. I had Civivi, the Civivi Hadros, the Civivi Sokoki, and a couple other Civivis I've had and I've reviewed. Okay, so this knife is a little bit different, but this knife is more what I would consider a tactical self-defense type knife. Comes with a leather sheath. You see the little lines on the sheath? I already put some beeswax on this sheath, on the, th on the threads. But you gotta protect those threads on your sheath. You gotta do a lot of things with your sheaths to help make them hold up and stand up. But I'll tell you, out of the box right now, it's got pretty thick stock leather button, and it's got the belt, little belt loop thing. It's not a very big knife, and it's not a very heavy knife. So this will rest really nice on your hip. It comes with the Civivi knife sticker that they always give. Civivi round sticker, the gel caps, a very generous size cloth, which I just really like these. I like them when they're big like this. Look, it says Civivi on it. Civivi just, to me, has always ticked all those boxes. And then it has a little catalog brochure thing. Let's look at the knife. All right, so I'm gonna put the sheath in my pocket. It could be used as a slip. Who knows? There's paper on it. Look at that clip point. Look at that. It's got like a swedge across the top, giving it like a daggerish blade. Very, very generous finger toil because that is a necessary finger toil. This finger choil is going to be extremely necessary to get a full grip on the knife, first off. The bottom of the knife is right there. So I've got full grip on this knife because of that generous finger choil. Okay? So obviously, sharpening it, you're going to have endless sharpenings because of that finger choil. You're also getting a very good safe grip, full grip on the handle of the knife as it is. Now, I know you're looking at it saying, I can see part of the blade back there. What kind of material is that handle? Well, it's aluminum. I'll put the specs right here. But look what this knife's getting ready to do. Holy cow. Look at that. That knife is ready to go into your hand. And I call these push knives. Some people call them hand daggers. They call them punch daggers. They call them whatever. All kinds of names for these things but I call it a push knife. So like if you wanted to push a hole in a barrel with this with this blade or a blade similar, it's good for that. Now, when you're getting into the tactical self-defense aspect of this knife, the sky's the limit. But this is going to be a close contact type of tactical self-defense knife. A lot of dirt, look, I mean the blade's only two, two and some inches. There's the specs again, but the cool thing is, is just how quick it becomes a pocket knife. Just like that. You can do it one-handed. I'm trying to work on the best ways to do it, but you know, there's going to be fidgeters that are gonna be like, oh wow. But you're, you're asking yourself, hey Rich, what, what's going on here, man? You're doing that so freely. I don't hear, there's a click there, but I don't hear any clicks. I don't see you pushing any buttons. There's no lock. It's strange to me, but this handle and this, this, this pivot action 
creates its own type of friction lock in your hand. I can't see that that blade does want it does want to move a little bit. You know, it's going to move a little bit. It's it's not a lock. It's a friction lock. It's your hand holding that pivot section, keeping it static as much as possible. So there's that. And the same thing goes to this way. You know, you, with it in your hand like this, it's really not going to go. It's not going to try to go up. It's not going to go down. It's not going to do any of that. A lock isn't completely necessary. So like right there, you work it, you start working it. You can do it just flicking it. See that? And once you oil it, however you want it, I think I would like it to be a little bit grippy. Now, 14C28 end steel on the blade. Aluminum on the handles. No pocket clip. Let's look at the sheath real quick before I go any further. The sheath, we already looked at. Nice. Buttons right there. Now it's got, you can see the stitching, but it's got a little indent. See that indent right there? That is going to be how that fits in there perfectly. It's not very heavy, it's not very big, goes on your belt. Click it here, pull it out. You're ready to rock and roll that way. Switch it up. You're ready to cut some stuff out in the woods if you want to treat this. You could treat this as a hunting camping knife if you wanted, believe it or not, because there's a lot of things where you can really cut on stuff, wood, whatever it may be, and this be ideal for that. I see it more as a self-defense tactical knife, but whatever. Now sheath it'd be cool if the sheath was just a little bit different with the flap or something or a grip maybe do a kydex on this and it grips that blade and you could have it like this too you know what i mean so say no flap do a kydex that grips the blade really well so you can actually do that and that while it's kydexed in and then you pull it out that way or if you want to pull it out as a pocket knife, pull it out that way. And if it was Kydex, you could do something kind of cool where that Kydex plastic goes up a little bit to the top and you can have an adjustable belt thing so that if you did have it like this, this wasn't so high on your waist because it, it would adjust up. You know what I mean? So there's that. I think the sheath could be different. I love the black leather sheath. I love it as it's supposed to be like this. I like it a lot. I'm okay with that. If I had to change it, that's how I would change it. You know, kite exit, and then the handle sticks out, and you select how maybe you want it like that while you're walking around. Maybe you want it like that while you're walking around. If there's a lock on it, I think it would be cool to have like a button lock on it, something like that, just a little, or or maybe even a maybe a stronger detent, make it a double detent kind of situation. There is no detent on this. It's just a, it's just got this little pendulum whatever you want to call that that's this this swivel axis okay so that would be kind of cool if it had some kind of lock or double detent the blade i was going to dog the blade i was like why would you not have a di a dagger blade or a spear point spear tip or even a drop point blade on this but i feel with this clip point you're achieving a much better i think you could even buoy it where you go like a real dramatic arch right there and you can achieve a very 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 sticky tip for you know you get right between the ribs kind of sticky tip you don't want that sticky tip but there you go i would have uh i like the metal 14 c 28 n ideal great stainless steel for something like this aluminum scales this thing will virtually never corrode or whatever I just like it. I like it a lot. And I like how that just goes. Anonymous provider, appreciate it. Thank you very much. This is a knife I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna carry. And this is gonna be a fixed option for me that I'm gonna really enjoy. Thank you very much. I love it. The Civivi Typhius. I love these kind of things, especially when it's cutting edge. This is original thought. Maybe a home run on this sucker. Civivi. Zero to ten. I on fixed blades, tactical, funky stuff. 
I'm giving this a high eight, somewhere around eight, seven. Love it. Okay. If we're talking baseball, it's a triple. Maybe, maybe triple with a steel home. Not quite a home run because it's still, I think it needs a couple of tweaks, but I like it. I love it. It comes in this mint green with black blade as well. And it also comes with an orange and black and a Damascus. The orange and black Damascus is about $14, $15 more. This right here costs that much on Amazon right now with their Civivi Wii store. So I would think about getting one of these. I'm serious.